I think, you know, when, when people say leadership of like Nigerian leadership, the government, the government didn't come from outside Nigeria, it's from the people. The elected officials are from the people, so the people then are the problem. Meaning, if we keep elected from the same set of people with the same mindset, then we have the same problem. So until you change the people to a level, then you can elect some of them that will be better and the country can be better. Now for church, we have a lot of responsibility because we pastors especially, we speak to people or with people every Sunday. I'm not sure any other person has that kind of, or have that kind of opportunity. Can you imagine every Sunday, 4,000, 5,000, 2,000, every Sunday, then we have the opportunity of shaping the people. Then if we can shape the people, some way, somehow, uh, some of them can get into leadership and then things can begin to change. So I, I, I think the church needs a shift, a shift from just Bible schools to government schools. When I, I mean government schools where people can be trained on how to lead, not just in the church, but you know, in business and uh, in politics uh, governance. So when we have that kind of teaching, because we have Nigerian pastors all over the world doing well, Ukraine, UK, US, in Asia. So, and that's because we have a lot of Bible schools. What if we have schools of government where uh, the way we do Bible school, you know, we can teach and train and build people and prepare them for leadership, especially in, in our nation, then it, it, it helps us to have better leaders. And I, I think Nigeria occupies a pivotal role in Africa. If you look at the shape of Africa, Nigeria is like the trigger point, like a gun. So, if you look at our population, it, it, it comes to me that when we get it right, it will trickle out to Africa. It, it's just like the world or Africa is waiting for us to get it right. So I, I feel if the church can train people, we have better people in government, uh, we have some kind of massive changes in Nigeria, it will affect West Africa and Africa. I, I believe so.